The yoke, which is made of nylon, pivots on the tapered heads of two stainless steel self-locking socket head bearing screws, which are visible on each side of the yoke. As with all bearings, continual use will eventually create wear. The result is looseness and objectionable noises. Occasionally, in new bells, some bearing looseness may develop after a brief break-in period. In either case, readjustment is quick and easy thanks to Malmark's exclusive design. Here's how. First, remove the clapper assembly from the bell. Next, insert the appropriate hex key wrench into the recessed socket in the head of both screws. Turn the wrench clockwise a fraction of a turn each time. It is not necessary to oil bearing screws. Also make sure not to remove and reinsert the screws unnecessarily. This will reduce the locking effect. Molmark's unique clapper is completely adjustable. That means you can select which lobe of the clapper strikes the bell. Choose soft, medium, or hard. You'll feel the clapper snap into position. Adjusting the clapper setting changes the timber of the bell by controlling the strength of the twelfth overtone. On the G4 bell, the soft position surface is covered with felt, producing a very soft, muted sound. The medium position is a slotted plastic surface and will produce a soft sound, but with a more brilliant timber. The hard setting uses a solid plastic surface, producing a brilliant crisp sound. Bells having a higher pitch than A-sharp 4 are not equipped with felt clapper surfaces, since a harder striking surface is required. As bells become smaller and higher in pitch, clapper slots become smaller or eliminated. In some of the smallest bells, clappers only have two settings. The materials, design, and weight of the clapper used in each bell have been carefully selected to provide the best tonal response and ringing control for that particular bell. For this reason, a clapper from one bell should not be interchanged with a clapper from another bell. Just above the clapper is the clapper indexing spring. Make sure, if you do remove and replace the clapper, that the spring is properly aligned. An imaginary line through the center slots should be parallel to the yoke rocker arms. Just under the clapper, on some of the larger handbells, you will find a round metal cylinder held by a set screw. This is to add weight to the clapper and provide a smoother ringing action. The size, weight, and location of this metal cylinder has been factory selected and adjusted to what is best for that particular bell. 